Hey YouTube, this is Cable and glad to be back after a long time. Um, I hope you all have been great. Uh, just today morning I heard that CakePHP has finally come up with CakePHP 3 and wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about this uh, new version and I've been following CakePHP 3 since about four, four or five months now and uh, I, think, I think that's just great. I mean, <laughs> I, c I can't be more happier than this and um, I just thought that I I'll, I'll actually dive into CakePHP 3 now and thought that while I dive in it, why not just create a screencast and maybe share it with uh, community fellow members. All right, so let's get started. Uh, now, CakePHP uses uh, Composer. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Composer. If you're not, then you might want to just check out getcomposer.org. Uh, that's their official website. And um, you can just go through the documentation real quick. And it's not a rocket science. It's just a dependency manager, which means it's like an assistant uh, to whom you instruct, saying that you just need these kind of packages, and they should be of specific version. And whenever you update your core package, uh, if your if your dependent packages. Um, um, others to PSR standards. Now, if you're not familiar with P PSR standards, I'll, I'll cover it in a couple of videos from now. And uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try and stay active this time. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and uh, just check out what packages it comes with. Um, you, you might just want to check out packages.org, which is uh, the curated list website. I mean, it's just a list website. Uh, I'll just check out CakePHP, and what we need is CakePHP app. Okay, now before that, I'll s log on to my terminal and I'll go to my TMP folder so that I don't have to remember to delete anything. Okay, uh, now for those of you who do not know uh, how to download and install curl, there are various methods to do it and I'll be using CURL curl, which is a utility. Uh, I think I think it's it's cross platform. I think it's it's cross platform. So I guess uh, you can use it on Mac and Windows. But since I use Ubuntu and yeah, it doesn't come out of box. So you might want to just go ahead and do uh, apt get install uh, curl. But since I have it installed in my system, I wouldn't do that. I'll just do curl and get composer.org forward slash installer and I'll pipe it with PHP. Now by the time it downloads I'll pause this video. Um, okay you will see um, things like all settings correct for using composer. Now that's a good sign. Whoa okay it's done. <laughs> now composer.far is an executable file and far stands for PHP archive. Okay uh, now that is something that I know. Uh, it could be something else. <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah, to use Composer, you have to go and do Composer PHP Composer dot far, and that's it. So like, you can install, uh, you can create project. We'll be using create project because um, yeah, we'll be creating project, and I think I'll I'll turn this into a series, and I by the end of the series, we'll we'll have a successful blog platform or something like that, something similar, or maybe a Twitter or something like. Twitter app or something. <laughs> okay, now uh, going ahead with composer.far. Um, it's not convenient to type composer.far, create project on every single app that I'll be using. So instead, what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll move this far file as an executable file so that I can just do composer install and it would just work out of box all right so I'll just move it uh, composer.far to user local bin and I'll name it as composer permission denied oops okay that should do the trick boom okay I'll, j I'll just go to my home directory this is the shortcut to home directory and I'll create a folder called cake3 file exist <laughs> okay cake php3 might, might be one of my older installations so cake php3 
I'll do composer create project kick php forward slash app and that's it while it downloads I'll just pause this video I'll not make you watch the entire thing and I don't alright pretty much uh, while installing it might ask you if you want to create config app.php which is a configuration file I'll just go ahead and say yes alright it looks good it looks good now if I do ls list uh, yeah I see app directory and uh, these are the library files which are under vendor and yep you can see autoload.php which I'll cover in future lessons uh, there, there is uh, for now uh, you might want to check if your um, logs and TMP folders are writable I'll just do LL, LL or I can just do LSLA which is which is the full form for LL LL is just an alias for LSLA uh, yep I see read write and execute and read write and execute so yeah I think we are pretty good to go I'll go to webroot di directory and uh, I'll run PHP localhost 8888 let's see if it works pretty neat okay cake is not able to connect to the database that, that is because we have not set up the database yet uh, so stay tuned to this channel and uh, I'll be uploading more and more videos on cake PHP 3 as and when I discover uh, more about it and uh, yeah feel free to l let me know if you come across any issues I'll keep an eye on the comment section